Well, welcome back. Uh, I'm going to be showing you a little bit about how to jack up the Civic Perfect. and how to uh, safely put it on jack stands and then, you know, just get around to pointing out some of the motor mount brackets and the motor mount pieces that we talked about and well, that I talked about in my previous video. Um, if you want to take another peek, this is what it looks like from up top. Uh, I like keeping the fenders off, it just looks cool <laughs> while working on it. But, um, so yeah, you're going to need a jack. Got a good old heavy duty three ton. Um, you know, 1.5 tons will work too. And if you're not sure what three ton means, that's, uh, what is that? A ton I think is 2,000 pounds. Uh, so that's up, that's good for 6,000 pounds. A 1.5 ton would be like 2,500 pounds, which is somewhere around what these Civics weigh. Um, I know some people have them. I have one of them, the aluminum ones from like Old Harbor Freight, 1.5. But, uh, so we got a uh, creeper. We got two jack stands. I'm just lifting up the front end. We're gonna leave the back end down. Uh, if I wanted to lift up the back end, I would have four jack stands. I'd put it all on jack stands. But uh, let me uh, get situated and I'll continue on. All right, so get in there. Kind of like jack this up a little bit. Now, obviously, I'm missing my side skirts. But if you got a low car and side skirts, then you're probably gonna have to figure something else out. Uh, maybe put your car on like a little block of wood, drive it on top of it, so you can like pick up your car a bit, or depending on where you're at, or if you can get a low pro jack, they go pretty low down, like this is I think a low pro, but I know they got one that's a little bit lower, depending on where you get it from, but uh, yeah, so you just jack it up, give me a second. Technically, it should be like this, but I like to like put a little sideways so I can just sit in there. Just take your time, you know. You want to just uh, let the jack down slowly and see. Let's put this right here and see where, like, you know, you feel comfortable. Just go down nice and slow. I'm gonna loosen the jack. So what I usually do is keep the jack up a little bit like that. You want to give the car a good push. Make sure ain't nothing going to fall while you're under there. Oh, we should be good. All right, so here we go. Uh, so I'm going to show a little bit about... Oh, look at this nasty looking header. This is what I was talking about. I'm going to have to wall this. <laughs> this thing got flattened. But uh, hopefully, you know, I can prevent that. Anyway, um, I'll check out that, uh, I don't know if you can see it, that light flywheel in there. You saw the holes? That's not normal on the stock flywheel. But uh, yeah, that's always good. So right now I don't have the axles in. I don't even have a flange on my exhaust ever. <laughs> but uh, what I wanted to get under here show was the T-bracket. This is what they call the T up and down, side to side, <laughs> T-bracket. You got two bolts that hold it right here in the back of the transmission, and one bolt that goes through the engine and the transmission. Actually, mine's is loose, need to tighten it, the bolt. But uh, that's what they call the T-bracket, and that's what holds the back of the engine and transmission to the subframe, or this big old piece that goes across from swing arm, or suspension arm to suspension arm, up in the front. This whole piece right here comes down separately there's like some main bolts uh elsewhere here you go two here and like two back here i think it's these two yeah. this is your sway bar uh so this whole assembly with the steering rack and all that other stuff i mentioned can come down um and people swap them out they usually put like an integras or a 92 95 so they like this because um, they have like different clearance spaces i think the rack 
is out on front and it just makes it i think they're just like flatter out maybe we'll find that and make a video of subframe differences but uh for now um this is what i want to show about the t-bracket um and then that's the back mount and then the mount you know you can buy a uh, b20 swap mount for your ek uh, that's what i got here i got my set from some dude that already had them we had all the brackets so this bracket actually this t-bracket only comes from the 2000 or 99 2000 civic si that's what i got on the on this particular car because my car is a 2000 and uh that's where mines came from a 2000 honda civic si and then you got your transmission bracket all right so this right here is the transmission bracket um like i said these mounts come with the, the mount kit that t bracket transmission bracket and then i guess the driver's side engine mount bracket these are the brackets you need. The mounts come as a kit. You got one, two in the back, and then the third one. Um, I guess this other mount right here, the uh, AC power steering bracket, has a pin that goes for a subframe uh, mount, which is useful. There's supposed to be another one right here. Actually, I got to get mine. Uh, it bolts into the transmission, and it goes under here and mounts to the subframe as well. Those two front additional mounts actually help a lot. <laughs> Keeping uh, you know the car handling a little bit better, I would say, uh, it helps the engine from moving so much, and it helps keep your wheels I guess, stabilized in a sense because you know your axles go to the hubs and you know, just do different for different things. Uh, so right now I'm missing the piece, but it'd be like a U mount uh, that go around this pin. This is a busted center part of it, uh, but this bracket is good. Uh, I think this is the original B20 bracket. Um, but I'm sure like a lot of the, I'll look into it too, but uh, the Integra brackets will work as well. Like, uh, well, depending on the engine block you have, like I have a B20, bra uh, B20 block. I gotta just confirm if this is an actual B20 bracket. This might just be an Integra bracket. This gets so many different years and so many different engines you can use that are interchangeable. That's why Honda's just so fun because everything's interchangeable. You can make all kinds of combos. Um, so yeah, there goes my little Raceland coilovers, brake calipers, this is the front uh, swing arm or suspension arm, that's my tie rod, like I said the sway bar is linked right here that mounts to the sway bar that went under there, uh, my oil pan is a little bit leaky, I'm missing this little cover but it's fine, whatever, this is the transmission, um, and like I said that transmission mount goes to that U-bolt or U-shaped mount. Like I said, two bolts go through that. When I get all this together, I'll start showing it as it, you know, as it goes. But for now, I'm just showing you what I got and where we're basically starting from. Because I haven't touched this in a while. Right now, the shift link is out. The exhaust is out. You can look inside the car right here because that's where the shifter goes. <laughs> um, I gotta get everything put on. Actually, I gotta put my shift linkage assembly together. because This is where it goes, and I gotta. Make sure I got all the little pieces needed. Uh, all right, I'm missing my alternator. I need to get one. See, this thing's got a lot of work left to do. I still got to plug in the harness and tighten some bolts. 